How's it going guys? Today we're going to be reviewing this projector, the Emoten H1. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce this name. To be honest, I haven't heard of this company before, but uh, today we're going to be reviewing their portable projector that actually is portable and has a battery built in. So this is a really interesting product and pretty useful. So let's get into the unboxing portion of this. Then right after that part, we're gonna actually go into the performance. We're gonna look at how crisp the screen hopefully looks. And we're also gonna be taking a look at just all the other accessories and how to use it. All right, so let's unbox this projector. And while I'm unboxing this projector, I do have a link to this down below. So if you guys do wanna check it out while I review it, you guys could do that as well. So let's get into the actual unboxing. So it comes covered in plastic. The box has some like geometric design that kind of looks fancy. Text is reflective. So that's pretty cool. And let's open her up. So they do have some foam in here, which is good to help keep it safe. While the crazy Amazon, UPS, or FedEx guy is delivering your product, we have a remote and it looks pretty straightforward. You have volume, uh, menu buttons, navigation buttons, uh, power on and off. Every normal thing that you'd basically find on a remote. Here is the actual projector and it is a very interesting shape. I feel like it's very rare to see people actually use a different shape for a projector. So this is really cool to see. And as we get through this review, you guys will see this isn't just any projector. It's pretty special. All right, here she is. And this feels very nice. My first impressions, it feels expensive and um, solid. It's not too big, but it's pretty dense. We have some really nice buttons here. We have um, the focus wheel is like this like bronze color and so is the volume. And these are special, these are mechanical switches. So just like my keyboard, these are mechanical switches. Kinda makes it cool. Sounds like you're typing, but on a projector. The back of here, we have a ton of really nice ports. So we're gonna be taking a closer look into those later, but uh, yeah, we also have this leather strap to hold it because it is portable. So that is sweet. And we also have a little, little stand down there and a mount. We got, looks like both possible mounts. Man, I'm just, I can't get over how cool this feels, especially for the price point. It's nothing extremely expensive, but it feels very nice. Let's look into the rest of the box while we're doing the unboxing part. So this looks like it's a HDMI cable, just in case you didn't have a thousand of those already. And the power block. This is basically the same deal as a, a laptop. It is USB-C, it looks like. Oh yeah, we got some USB-C down here, which is nice. I mean, just that charger, those chargers are worth a good bit of money. And if you have a USB-C laptop, you would know. We have the component cables, I believe, are what these called. To be honest, they're kind of old. I barely even see those anymore. All right, we get a little thank you letter, I imagine, or instructions, I don't know. So this box opens up into the instructions, which uh, I probably will actually need. This projector is uh, pretty interesting. I think we're getting pretty close to the end of this. I don't see anything else in here. I mean, we have power, HDMI cable, some notes, and the projector itself. We're out of stuff. So quickly on the side here, I was too excited to open it, so I never even went over what the box says, but it is a 1080p projector, and they are actually being serious. It is native 1080p. It's none of that upscaling stuff. It's actually 1920 by 1080p, so you guys are gonna get a crisp image. It's not like all the other brands that are like, hey, buy me, we can play 1080p footage, but we're actually 480p native. It has a dual stereo Bluetooth speaker design. It has screen mirroring. So if you guys are trying to play Netflix off of your phone, you can do that. I'm pretty sure this has um, like apps that you could download onto it, but we'll get into that part of the video later. It could handle gigabit Wi-Fi as well if you guys have that in your house or just 2.4 gigahertz to five gigahertz Wi-Fi. And then uh, the operating system, Emoten OS. And that's how you guys use the apps on this device. So anyways, that is the unboxing. Let's get into the actual projector. Welcome to the review section of this video. Now it's officially time to dive into the specs of this mini projector. 
For a mini projector slash portable projector, this thing rocks and performs just as good as some of my full-size projectors. Now, granted, this projector is more expensive compared to my past projectors. It's still competitively priced, especially for a native 1080p projector, while still being completely portable, no cables needed. Seriously, no cables. This is a real 1080p projector. A lot of projectors claim to be 1080p, but what they are actually doing is upscaling to 1080p from something like 480. That is why you guys have to look for that word native. This shows you what the actual quality is of the projector and what it can support. So this supports native 1080p, but it's also capable of playing 4K footage, but it'll actually have to downscale to 1080p. So it won't look like 4K, but it'll still look pretty good. That being said, this is still a very crisp image and plays at full HD. The further back you put the projector from the screen, the easier it will be for you to notice those individual pixels, but at over a 100 inch screen in my room, it still looks really nice and crisp. No stuttering like my past projector, just smooth 1080p footage. This projector has 250 ANSI lumens, which for the price is really good. Obviously don't expect a movie theater experience when paying $300 but it's still pretty sweet. That being said though, this is still a fun experience having such a big screen that you could take anywhere. This projector can be seen with a lit room, but not super well. Projectors are really designed for dark rooms anyways, and in the dark, this projector really comes to life with a beautiful screen. A special feature of this projector is that it is actually a smart projector. Just like your smart TV or Fire Stick, this can have apps installed that allow you to watch Netflix straight from your projector, no other devices needed. Same goes for whatever streaming service you use, ranging from Hulu, YouTube, and Amazon Prime. This projector comes with 16 gigabytes of storage for all your apps, and it comes with about one gig of RAM from what I have seen, but this is kind of hard to find info on. This projector is capable of 2.4 gigahertz or five gigahertz wireless connections, and this can be even used on your gigabyte internet at your house. This projector has a ton of ports on the back as well, which is pretty cool being that it is a portable projector. It has a micro SD card slot, an auxiliary port, an AV jack, and a USB port capable of using 128 gigabytes, an HDMI in, an ethernet port, and an optical port for the best audio, and then lastly, a USB-C for charging and powering this device. While we're looking at this device itself, let's look at the buttons because they're pretty unique. There are two bronze accents on the top. One of them is a volume knob and then the other one is the focus ring. After that, we have some functional buttons for playback that are all mechanical switches, just like your gaming keyboard, if you guys have one. We also got a leather strap for when you're carrying this little projector around, which will be something you do quite often with how easily this thing is to just set up. This projector also has a 360 degree sound system with two 3 watt speakers. It gets pretty loud, but you kind of lack the bass that a full sound system offers. It gets pretty loud, but once again, kind of hard to get that on a portable projector. If you guys want to mirror your cell phone display on this device, it is definitely capable of that. You guys just have to find the right app to do so. Personally, I'm using this with my desktop through an HDMI port, so that is why I haven't really messed with that. Using a laptop or a desktop is just pretty easy, so that's the route I went. This projector also has an auto keystone correction, which is pretty useful since you guys are gonna be moving this around all the time, being that it is a portable projector. Works pretty well, and I could almost always get a perfect image on my wall. And if you guys have 3D content, this projector claims to be capable of doing so, but I never really got into that scene, so I never got to test that out. This projector is also not too loud. And when I say that, I'm not talking about the speaker because the speaker's loud. We're talking about the fan noise. I've had a lot of projectors over the years and most of them are considerably louder than this one. This projector is really small, but it still does a pretty good job at getting rid of the heat inside of this thing from the bulb without making a ton of noise. One thing that I forgot to put in my script here was that this is actually capable of playing up to three hours of video being completely unplugged from the wall. Personally, I was able to get closer to two hours from this, but I also had the volume really loud. So if you guys have the volume a little quieter than I had it, you guys will probably get a little bit more playtime out of it. Basically, they claim it could last up to watching the entire Endgame movie on this projector 
with zero wires. So back to this projector being pretty quiet, I forgot to mention this, they claim that it is below 28 decibels. All right, overall, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. It gives you a decent sound and it's actually fully portable while not sacrificing any quality. This is a must have if you guys travel a lot or if you guys go camping or just go to friends a lot. But at the same time, if you guys wanna use this just as your normal projector, you guys could definitely do so. It has all the mounts right on the bottom for that. If you guys are interested in this projector still, check out my link below to take a look at it even closer. I think you guys are gonna be pretty happy with this purchase if you guys do get it. It is definitely a quality product and I'm not just saying that. This was one of the coolest things that I've gotten all year. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure you guys drop a like down below so people know that this is a video worth watching. And if you guys really wanna go the extra mile, consider subscribing as it really helps this channel out. Anyways, that is it for today. I hope you guys have a great one.